you know, growing up in the late 90s, early 2000s, middle of the Yankees run, diehard Jet fan, on Long Island, I've always had somewhat of a hatred for Boston, to say the least. But the more I've gotten here, the more I've traveled here for work and things, I, I'm going to be honest with you, the city, city's growing on me a little bit. That was until last night. For some reason, and I have to check if this is a law or not, there was nonstop, I'm on, I'm right by South Street, middle of the city, middle of Boston. For some reason, construction, and it's still going on, I think you could hear it out there, literally, construction all night. Midnight, started about midnight and has been going through the morning. If those are the laws here, cities in Havital. If those are the laws here, construction, whenever, always, middle of the night, cities in Havital. Game over, done, Boston. But let's see. I'm going to walk down Cambridge Street this morning. It's another, it's an early morning. So I'll take a walk down Cambridge Street. There's a Whole Foods. Let's see if Whole Foods, Boston, Cambridge Street can save the day. I'd say Whole Foods is a lifesaver. Let's see if they can save Boston. Let's do it. Three. Okay, here's the deal. Got to the store, nice little walk right down Cambridge Street. We're in the middle of Boston here. So I would say this is the go-to Whole Foods in Boston. They do have a public market that's a little to the east of the Whole Foods. That's pretty cool, but it's not really a, um, it's one of those markets with individual stores. It's not really just wide open and, and one entity. Uh, where you where you buy things from, which is cool. I think I'm gonna go down there and uh, and get some breakfast there this morning. But walked in as I was making my way through the aisles, complimenting the music. What I am finding out, 7 a.m. These stores are freaking popping, man. They're popping. Gotta love it. Hey, What's up, man? Store? Bam. Either a manager or someone, an employee from the store, came and said, "Hey, you can't film, dude." I was like, but bro, come on. The people gotta know. People gotta know where to go. The reliable stores. But listen, I get it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight with people. Turn the camera off, shut it down, and just did the rest of the walkthrough. So this is why I'm here. I'm gonna build the imaginary store in your mind through my detailed awesome descriptions. The store itself was a great size. It was a little off the beaten path. There's probably a I don't know, 90% chance that I get lost on this walk, 50% chance that I'm already lost, so. Found it. In terms of being announced to the city of Boston, so you kind of need to know where to go. It's, it's in a shopping complex that's a little pushed back off Cambridge Street. Yeah, off Cambridge Street. They had all the basic aisles with all the basic Whole Food products. Great produce area, really open. Tested out the avocados. Avocados had a nice selection of soft avocados and harder ones that you can buy now and just let sit there and soften until they're ready, bam. We go right to the avocado test. Good solid avs. Uh, so, so that was good. Coming around the corner, fish and meat section, all solid. They were putting out the fish for the morning. That means it's fresh. They had a little coffee bar by the checkout. The coffee bar was a little small. I didn't get to see if they actually had smoothies available or not. I would assume they do. Didn't see a juice area either. They did, however, have a nice cheese selection, cheese area, a whole corner that was dedicated to cheese for those cheese lovers. And then coming around by the checkouts, uh, they had a sushi station as well. So you see this in a couple of stores. They had the full sushi stations. This was a little more pronounced too, had the big sign, sushi, so you could get your fresh sushi there. Now, the interesting thing about this store was 
as you go to the very corner, it had its very own whole body nook right in the corner. Um, and here it had all your whole body stuff. It was a nice little cornered off area where you could go and you know what you're getting into. It's a lot different than what you typically see in the suburban stores where you have the whole body areas in the middle of the store and those two aisles that kind of break out to be a little wide open. Here, city of Boston, Cambridge Street, right in the middle, they have their own dedicated whole body area and that's actually consistent with what I see in New York City where they have either on some occasions a separate store or at least a dedicated area whether it's upstairs all the way in the corner something like that where it's just focused on whole body and I actually kind of like that so the store itself was big Boston kind of delivered here um, unfortunately they didn't let me show you so I just got kicked out they made me stop recording Boston you're killing yourself Boston we'll do the review in the room see how it ends up so with all that being said down to the score rating one through five Cambridge Street Boston I will not whatsoever take in any consideration that they told me to stop filming and they wouldn't let me show you the store so that's gonna be no part of the score. I promise, this is gonna be fair. I'm not, I'm not a grudge guy, come on. So I, I'd say that this is one of the better stores that I've been in, I, I really liked it. I'm not a grudge guy. I'm not gonna hold it against them that they kick me out. So Cambridge Street, middle of Boston, Whole Foods, coming in at a 1.5. Maybe I am a grudge guy. Okay. A 1.5 was a little harsh there. So a valid score that I would give them actually, even though they didn't let me film, and to show you why you should go there if you're in the area, I think this is the first of the five stores we looked at that's gonna come in in the fours, but not too high in the fours. Whole Foods, Cambridge Street, I'd go with a solid 4.0. Welcome to the fours. If that's the case where there are no laws to ban construction through all hours of the night, city's inhabitable. That's it. See ya, Boston.